Hi, I'm Sean Sons, and I'm discerning with the Fraternity of St. Peter, and I'm excited to share my story with you. I grew up in Albany, New York. I was nominally Catholic. I went to Mass on Sunday, and outside of that, I really didn't know anything about the faith. As I researched it, I, I realized, oh, Christianity seems like it's, it's the right faith, like it's true. So I started to kind of look into that more, but while that was going on, I was also looking to transfer out to the University of Notre Dame in Indiana. I ended up being able to transfer out there uh, halfway through my sophomore year of college, and I was always pro-life, so I ended up going to the March for Life on campus, and I saw a group of four people just walking and went over and talked to them, and they were all in the militia for the Immaculata on campus. So I ended up going to some of their meetings, and they basically ended up convincing me, along with several other good Catholics at Notre Dame, that the Catholic faith was true. And if that was the case, well then I knew that I had to take it pretty seriously because my soul depends on it. So I ended up re-entering the church through a good confession at the start of my senior year. After that, my roommate was just telling me how vocational discernment works. And he was saying that we all have a natural vocation to marriage. But the question is, do you have a supernatural vocation to the priesthood and or religious life? And when he said that, I was, I realized, oh, that's what I've been feeling for the past four or five years. I, there had always been something there, but I didn't know what it was. And I realized, oh, God wants me to be a priest. Once I just accepted, you know, what our, what our Lord wanted for me and just said, all right, I'll, you know, I'll do what you ask. Um, I just... I was just so at peace and just so joyful. That was one of the happiest moments in my life, without a doubt. And ever since then, I've just been so looking forward to when I can be a priest. After that, I ended up turning down the law school offer from Notre Dame, and I decided to move back home so I could, you know, live at home with my parents, work, and get my debt paid off. Once I moved back home, I started discerning with different groups. And I also got a really good spiritual director who's my parish priest, actually. He's a diocesan priest. He offers the Novus Ordo, but he also offers Latin Mass. And so I served it for him, usually multiple times a week. And I just grew to love it more and more. And as time went on in my discernment, I realized that God was calling me to be a fully Latin Mass priest. And he was calling me to do so as a parish priest as well. And so I realized because of that, that, oh, the fraternity of St. Peter, well, that matches up perfectly with that. Through spending time around my spiritual director and just seeing how he interacts with people, brings people to the faith, I mean, just being around him for over a year, you could just see everyone around him just becoming better people and loving our Lord more. It was, it's just amazing to watch. That's the kind of priest I want to be, is someone who can bring people closer to our Lord and Our Lady like that. I really want to be able to show people how to develop a true friendship with the Blessed Mother and with her son, because that's really what the faith and what life is all about. It's really just the best thing in the whole world, and I really look forward to being able to share that with people as a priest.